Hi, welcome to Moo Moo Math. Today we're going to review operations with rational expressions. We're going to look at add, subtract, multiply, and divide. And in dividing, we're going to also look at complex fractions. So let's talk about adding first. If you want to add these two rational expressions, you need to get a common denominator. So the first thing we want to do is look at our two binomials. And these are two binomials. I like to root them. So I need to represent each binomial in the denominator. So I'm going to bring over my x plus 3. And I like to put my variable first. So I'm going to switch that around. And then at x minus 5. I need to have both of those represented in my denominator. So I go to the first um, expression and I say, okay, what do I what am I missing? I'm missing an x minus 5 to get a common denominator. And the second one, I'm missing an x plus 3. So I multiply the numerator by those missing parts to then get a common denominator. So the first expression becomes 4x minus 20 once I distribute. And the second one is plus I distribute and get I have 2x plus 6. Then I just simplify my numerator by adding. And so I get a 6x minus 14 all over x plus 3 and an x minus 5. Now, my numerator does factor. I can factor out a 2. And that would become 2 times 3x minus 7 all over my common denominator of an x plus 3x minus 5. Now, I like to do that just in case this binomial would cancel out or if I have a constant in front. So you always want to factor your terms and have your answer in complete factored form so you can make sure that you haven't forgotten to cancel something out to simplify it. So that's how you add uh, rational expression. Now, subtracting. Subtracting works very similarly to um, adding. The difference is you have to be careful with the second term to make sure you apply the subtraction. So I'm first going to factor my denominators because in this one I have a binomial here that will factor into x minus 3 times x plus 3. Now I want to do that because that's going to help me figure out what my common denominator is. And of course over here I've got the x minus 3 and I'll bring down the x and I'll bring down the 2. So now I can decide what my denominator is. So my common denominator is an x minus 3 and an x plus 3. So my first term over here doesn't, I don't need to multiply the numerator by anything because I have the common denominator. So I can just bring this over as x. Now the second term I'm missing, and I'm going to write this in red so you can see it, I'm missing an x plus 3. So I'm going to distribute this and get 2x plus 6, but you have to consider the fact that this is subtraction. So typically, I'll just go ahead and change this to addition, and this time I'm going to distribute in a negative 2. So that becomes negative 2x minus 6. So once I simplify this, this is going to be negative x minus 6 in the numerator, and then an x minus 3, and an x plus 3 in my denominator. Now, nothing really factors out of the numerator. I could factor out a negative 1, but it's not going to affect my answer. So there we go. There's my answer to this problem. Uh, it's just negative x minus 6, or you could factor out a negative 1 if you wanted to and make this x plus 6 in the numerator, and then uh, x minus 3 and an x plus 3. Okay, so that's adding and subtracting. Now let's talk about multiplying. Okay, when you multiply, you actually just want to simplify the expressions. So the first thing you're going to do is factor wherever you can. So an x plus 2 is my 
bi as a binomial in it there's nothing to factor out of that binomial but the denominator down here it's a trinomial and this one will factor so what multiplies to six that adds to negative one hmm, nothing let's do this let's make this a minus six and then I know that's going to factor. So we're going to change this problem slightly. So it's going to be x squared minus x minus 6 other than plus 6. That one will factor into x minus 3 times x plus 2. There we go. That, that's a little neater. Okay. Then my numerator, I have an x squared minus 9. That's the difference of squares. So it's going to factor into x minus 3 times an x plus 3. And then my denominator is x squared plus 6x plus 9. What well, multiplies to 9 and adds to 6, that's x plus 3 times x plus 3. You could write it as x plus 3 squared. And so I have factored all the terms. Now I get to cancel anything with the numerator and the denominator. So I can cancel an x minus 3. I can cancel an x plus 2. I can also cancel one of these x minus, uh, plus 3s. So my final answer is going to be, well, on top I don't have anything left other than 1. And then in the denominator I have an x plus 3. So that's how you multiply those two together and simplify to this point. Okay, let's talk about dividing. Now, dividing works exactly like multiplying, except we have to think about how do we change from division to multiplication with fractions. And that's the keep, change to multiplication, and flip, which is the reciprocal. So I'm going to keep my x squared minus 11x plus 24 in my numerator. My denominator, I'm going to go ahead and factor it out because, ooh, I guess I could have factored the top. Let's do that. Let's, well, no, we're not going to, we're not going to make it any harder than it has to be. Let's just do one step at a time. So 3x plus 9, we'll just bring that down. Now I'm going to change this to multiplication. And let's find the reciprocal. Well, that's x plus 3 in the numerator and a 2x minus 16 in the denominator. Okay, now let's factor. So I've done the keep, change, flip for the reciprocal. Now let's factor this trinomial, x squared minus 11x plus 24. So what multiplies to 24 and adds to a negative 11? And the answer is x minus 8 times an x minus 3. My denominator, I can factor out a greatest common factor of 3. So let's take a 3 out, and that leaves, leaves me with x plus 3. Times, in the numerator, I have an x plus 3. Well, that's nice. I can cancel those in a second. And I have another GCF of 2. And that leaves me with x minus 8. Now let's cancel anything that all the binomials that match. So I have an x plus 3 and an x plus 3. I have an x minus 8 and an x minus 8. That's all that I can cancel. So what do I have left in the numerator? I have the binomial x minus 3. Let's group that because we need to make sure we only cancel that with an x minus 3. And then my denominator is just 3 and 2, which multiply to 6. So there is my final answer simplified. Okay, so that's division. Now let's look at simplifying complex fractions. How do we do that? Well, first, what is a complex fraction? That's when you have a fraction within a fraction. Okay, and you have a big division here. So it's a type of division. So what I first have to do is I have to look and say, okay, my denominator has two separate terms. So I first need to get in the denominator a common denominator. So I'm going to just bring over my x 
and my x plus 3 that is in the numerator. And then in the denominator, I have to get a common denominator. So this second term needs an x plus 3 to get a common denominator. So I'm going to multiply it by x plus 3, x plus 3. So I'm going to have x over x plus 3. I'm just bringing that first term, this first term over, and then I'm going to add the second term, which is now x squared plus 3x in my numerator. My denominator is x plus 3. Okay, so I've just gotten a common denominator in the denominator. Now let's add the numerators in the denominator. So let's add this top. So that gives me x squared plus 4x all over x plus 3. So I've combined these two fractions, and then I've got an x over an x plus 3. Now I can deal with the fact that I have a complex fraction, a complex division problem, because I've created one fraction in the denominator. So I have got the problem x over x plus 3 divided by the quantity x squared plus 4x over x plus 3. Now, we just did division, so let's think about that. This is the keep, change, flip, or reciprocal. So I'm going to keep x over x plus 3. I'm going to change this to multiplication, and I'm going to find the reciprocal of the second term. So x plus 3 over x squared plus 4. x. Now, can I factor anything? And I hope your answer is yes, because this term, the second term in the denominator, does factor. So I've got an x over an x plus 3, and that's going to be multiplied by x plus 3 over, let's factor out this common factor of x, and that's x plus 4, and now let's cancel. So I can cancel my x plus 3s. I can cancel this monomial of x, so what are we left with? Well, in the numerator, I just have a 1, but my denominator, I have an x plus 4. And that's how you simplify that complex fraction. So there we go. We've kind of run through all the different types of operations. So there are four. We added, subtracted. That's when you get common denominators. You multiply by just factoring and canceling. You divide by using the keep, change, flip, or keep, change, and the reciprocal. And then the, the complex fractions, you can use the same keep, change, flip, and then just simplify that. So there you go. I hope this video is helpful reviewing rational expressions.